Hey everybody, I am uh, not sitting on a tropical beach somewhere, um, as most of you are not as well. Uh, this would be a great way to be spreading spring break, but yeah, that's not our reality this year. We are in a very different circumstance and uh, circumstances that are very unexpected and still feels a very surreal. Um, yeah, it's hard to believe we are actually in this situation and uh, that we are planning for school and learning to, to look differently, that uh, we won't be coming together next week uh, in the way that we always have. And so, um, yeah, I'm not on a beach, but I am at my home. We have a 1,400 square foot house where we've been following the government recommendations to stay home as much as possible. Uh, we've been social distancing and uh, it's hard. Uh, it's been really hard. Uh, I, I like people. I like being around people. Uh, I like giving high fives and uh, that's just not the world we are in at this moment. Um, in our house, it's, it's my wife, Michelle, and I. And we actually have four adult children who are living here right now from the ages of 18 to 21. Um, it's loud. It's messy. Our grocery bill is staggering, but thankfully we are all doing well and we are healthy. Uh, we did manage a couple of hikes and a trip to the grocery store, but that is about all. Uh, it's so important right now that we are all doing our part. If you've had the, the privilege of being in some of our chapel times or all school assemblies, uh, we've been singing a song recently called Overwhelmed by Big Daddy Weave. And um, it just feels so much more applicable now than, uh, than before. I think we find ourselves right now caught up in the fear, the worry, and the stress. And I know everybody's feeling that. There's so many unknowns, uncertainties. We feel trapped. We're worried about finances. And the overwhelmed list goes on and on. But we do have hope. We have our hope in him. And even during this pandemic, he is faithful. And I am filled with confidence that the stories we will tell in several months from now will be filled with memories of how we were overwhelmed by him. Uh, it maybe feels weird to, to talk about that as we are still in the middle of everything, but uh, yeah, he is with us, he is caring for us, he is with our families, he's protecting uh, all of our students, he is with you, uh, and that is just where, where we need to put our trust and our faith right now. Um, it's easy to be caught up in fear, but we just need to put our trust in him and allow our fear to turn into, into faith. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, now, and forever. Amen. Jude one twenty five. I just want to acknowledge that uh, we have a pretty amazing administrative team here at Denial Christian School. Uh, Cheryl Van Zale, Shannon Gillespie, Suda Schiffert. Uh, we have been meeting um, hours upon hours uh, in the last couple of days. Uh, we've got Kim Kirkbride, uh, who's been part of that, David Hosini uh, for middle school, and, and Haley Duick in high school. And um, not once in all of these additional meetings during their spring break have they complained uh, that we've had to meet yet again to, to plan and prepare um, for all of these different things. And so uh, if you could encourage them as well, we are incredibly blessed by, by each one of them. Um, and I'm thankful to our board uh, for responding so quickly and so well uh, and being a support to myself and the administrative team. Um, as yeah, these are unprecedented times. There's no binder we can pull off our, our shelf, uh, no website that, that really directs how an independent Christian school on Vancouver Island should handle and respond to all these things. Um, I know a lot of you have emailed me with uh, questions, concerns uh, about tuition and what that's going to look like. Um, what is schooling going to look like uh, and all those different things. Um, but we know that it's hard. We, we know that a lot of you have been laid off or you're experiencing work stoppages um, and we get that that's stressful. Um, over the past number uh, of days, um, we have worked hard to, to relook at our budget, uh, to cut all non-essential costs that we can. Um, to make some changes into some things and um, we are we are now able to move forward with a, a COVID-19 tuition relief fund for our families. Um, 
we want to help you through the next three months. We know there's a lot of government supports and things that are out there as well. Um, encourage you to access that too, but, but we want to also support our families and our community at this time. And it's our hope that um, no families will feel like they have to leave Nanaimo Christian School because of their finances during this COVID-19 situation. So uh, please, in the email that, um, that is sent out here as well, you will find a little more information about that. You will find a link to the survey, um, not the survey, to the form where you can uh, make your request for some tuition relief during this time. Um, so a huge thank you to the board for um, reviewing that uh, and supporting that and approving uh, the ability to move forward with making that available to our families. Um, so please um, give us a chance to work with you. We, we love every single student that has come to Nanaimo Christian School. We consider it a, a huge privilege and a blessing that they are with us. Uh, and we would, be, we would be saddened if any of them have to leave due to finances during this time. So please let us help. Um, click that link, check out that form, and uh, submit your applications if you need it. Uh, for some of our families, the um, relief, tuition relief is not uh, a needed thing. Uh, but maybe you are in a position where, where you can acknowledge that there are families that do need extra help and support, and maybe you're able to uh, make a donation to our tuition relief fund. Um, and so I'll provide some information in that email as well uh, for you to be able to do that. Uh, there are still a lot of unknowns. I promise we are going to make those all known to you uh, as soon as we figure a few more things out. Uh, it's incredibly complicated switching a whole way of learning and an approach to learning uh, in about 10 days. Um, thankfully, I've got a lot of really smart people working with me and uh, we have some really great plans and um, we know that, that students, your kids are going to be cared for well. Uh, that when all of this is said and done, we, we hope that you'll remember um, some of these things with, with actual fondness, uh, despite all the unknowns and the uncertainties. Um, that you will walk away knowing that this truly is a place where um, we serve him first, uh, but that we actually care about each one of your kids. Uh, we talk about it, it's in our mission statement. This is just another opportunity for us to, to demonstrate that and to live that out. Uh, and I'm excited about the plans that we have and I think you will, you will see a lot of time, attention and, and care has been put into those. Um, so check the email out for that as well. And yeah. We will continue to communicate with you as often as we can with, with information um, that's relevant. Uh, we don't want to overwhelm and bombard, but we also don't want to uh, leave you wondering and worrying. And so we, um, yeah, appreciate all of you. We appreciate all of your encouragement, all of your prayers, uh, and know that we are constantly praying for you and your families as well. Uh, ask that you would, yeah, follow the recommendations, um, social distancing, isolating when needed, uh, not gathering in large groups. And uh, yeah, we, we, we will get all through this together. Um, and thankfully we, we serve an amazing God who uh, will guide us and, and walk us through every single step of the way as well. So miss all of you already. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's nobody to give high fives to um, standing in the parking lot at school for the next little while. So uh, we'll have to figure out a virtual way of high fiving. Uh, virtual way of playing Adam Ball or Foursquare. Um, but yeah, we, we will get through this together in community. So uh, blessed to be a part of it uh, and hope that, um, yeah, you will send any of your questions that you have to me and I'll answer them as, as quickly as I can. Um, we have an amazing staff, amazing group of teachers, amazing group of EAs, amazing group of office staff. And um, yeah, we will continue to work hard for your kids. So Thank you so much, and I'm not sure when I'll actually see you, but hopefully we'll see you very soon.